Harris County Sheriff. Uh, this morning at approximately 1 a.m., uh, we understand that there was a large gathering of people right behind me. There's a parking lot here at an apartment complex. Uh, we don't know what the gathering was for. We were just told there were just multiple people gathered outside. Uh, all of a sudden, some type of disturbance, we're told, broke out amongst the group. Uh, weapons were drawn and multiple shots were fired. We have over, so far, over 40, uh, uh, apparently over 40 shots that were fired out here at this location. In addition to three people being struck, we also have uh, vehicles and other property that was struck by the gunfire. Uh, people started scatter scattering. Uh, they got in different vehicles uh, to flee the location. Our deputies were able to act quickly and stopped one of the vehicles and found two individuals that were wounded inside the car, both the driver and the front passenger. Uh, the front passenger being more critically wounded. And separately, they located another individual separately that had also been wounded. Uh, so in total that we know of as of now, there's been at least three people that were shot. Um, those three are in the hospital being treated. I'm told that one uh, was just now uh, pronounced deceased at the hospital. Uh, the other two remain wounded. Uh, we're not sure the exact uh, condition. One is believed to be on, in fair condition. Not sure about the third one. And we don't know of anybody else that may have fled, uh, was wounded or not. Uh, we're still in the very preliminary stage of this investigation. Uh, but we ask the public uh, that if anyone has information about what transpired out here, uh, was at the party or anything, to please give us a call. They can call us at 713-274-9100 or uh, Crime Stoppers at 713-222-TIPS at 713-222-TIPS. Again, a uh, very dangerous situation with the number of shots that were fired. We're told that one was possibly an assault rifle rifle that was fired here at this location, just adjacent to these apartments. So it's a, it's a real dangerous situation where others could have been uh, injured. Um, and so at this point, that's what we have. We have three injur injured individuals. We don't know what, what their involvement in the party was or anything like that. So uh, we'll be uh, conducting the follow-up investigation um, at, this, at this time. Both our homicide and crime scene units are out here. Uh, briefly in Spanish, esta mañana como la una de la mañana, uh, hubieron reportes de que hubo un tiroteo en este, en este local, que son unos apartamentos en el estacionamiento. Uh, nos dicen que había un, una, un grupo de personas que estaban aquí unidos, tal vez para un tipo de fiesta, cuando hubo un tipo de discusión entre el grupo. Uh, varias personas sacaron armas y comenzaron a disparar. Tenemos más de 40 balazos aquí en la escena uh, de diferentes tipos de armas. Y huyeron todos. Uh, en un vehículo pudimos encontrar a dos personas que estaban heridos. A esas dos personas fueron trasladadas al hospital y también encontramos otro vehículo donde una persona también está herida. En este momento de esos tres que están heridos, uno ya falleció en el hospital y uh, no tenemos en este momento a ningún sospecho, sospechoso detenido. Le preguntamos o le pedimos al público que si tiene información sobre este incidente, por favor de llamarnos al 713-274-9100 o Crime Stoppers al 713 222-8477. Any questions? Do you know if any bullets struck the apartment the building? Uh, the, our team right now is canvassing to check if uh, there were any bullet strikes to the apartment. We know that other vehicles were uh, struck, so it's very likely that with that much uh, gunfire and that type of, of weapons uh, that, that some other things were struck as well. We're just hoping it didn't penetrate some wall or something and struck someone. Uh, but at this point, they're canvassing the location. And again, we ask if anybody's inside their apartment that saw or heard anything to please come out. Investigators are going to be out here for a couple hours. And I, I think I heard you say that you're not sure if the victims were part of the party or mm -hmm. maybe residents. Is it possible they could have been residents? Or? We're pretty certain they were uh, parties in the, what we don't know is they were in the original altercation or just bystanders within the party were told it was some type of gathering uh, with a large number of people out here. We just don't know what their involvement was or if they were the parties uh, on with the same group or, or conflicting parties or, or, or what their relationship was to the actual gathering. Mm -hmm. Do you have approximate age on the victims? Are they adults or juveniles? I, I'm not sure about the age at this point. Any idea how many possible suspects? Not at all. Uh, again, uh, with that large number of people there's it appears to be that multiple guns were used out here on the scene so we don't know who fired at who none of those circumstances quite yet 
Um, we don't know the parties involved. We're, again, uh, uh, shooters in any kind of way, or we're just, again, innocent bystanders in the party or not. All that's something we're going to have uh, to unpack. Do you know are the victims male or female? Or uh, I was told they were three males. For surveillance cameras yeah we'll be yeah exactly and if anybody has video or any of the persons that were out there nowadays everybody has uh, you know cell phones out and videos uh, to please again contact us at 713-274-9100 or crime stoppers as well we'd appreciate the information and investigators will all be out here for a couple hours as well just combing the scene and conducting follow-up investigation